everybody. So we're here at the brake check. And I'm gonna go out, check the brakes, do a walk around, the normal stuff you're supposed to do. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna park at tonight. Um, the yard is 60 miles, 61 miles away from my delivery. Um, I'm clocking the beat at my delivery about 2.30, so I still got the rest of the day. Um, I'm not sure if they're open. I might give them a call before I take off, but I don't know. We'll see, and we'll go from there. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm holding my shoulder, but at the same time, I've been using it more to where before I can even do that on its own. But it's just my muscles all freaking sore. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> All right, everybody. So we made it. We made it to the Lathrop Yard, and the shop was closed. I guess they're not open on Sunday. So. That temporary fix is still temporary because it's still on there and it's still working. So, I guess this was an act, this was actually 60 miles longer of a trip to get down here. Plus, if you look at it, I would have paid regardless in a way at least half of the mileage just by trying to park for the night so I'm an hour away the slow delivers at six o'clock so I'll probably be leaving about four four thirty and um, get to our delivery I really I'm really debating on trying to find a spot closer at least an on-ramp or something over there but I'm not really seeing anything so I'm gonna call it a day 63 miles away get up go deliver turn and then get to my pickup in Turlock which my pickups a seven o'clock delivery and are my is a seven o'clock pickup but it's just one of those loads to where it's like, yeah, it's seven o'clock, but they'll load you when you get when that when you get there and they'll when they get to you, they'll load you. So that's how I'm gonna look at it. I want it to um deliver or at least be at my delivery tonight, but yeah. Um I don't have a delivery for my next load yet, a uh, date and time, but I'm thinking about trying to get up there deliver rush back pick up hopefully I get loaded quick and then make it to the house yeah I'll probably be at the end of the day but at least I could do my 10 at the house and then I could cut down like I normally do when I leave the house to get into Phoenix so all right everybody so we are unloaded um, I think I erased the clip I wasn't supposed to race but we got here about 5 30 or so or no yeah about 5 30 or so um it is 7 30 now so i'm about to finish up with the paperwork and get out of here and go from there so we will see you guys shortly we're about an hour and a half two hours away from our next pickup and let's see how this is gonna work out so
So as you can tell, we made it. Um, I do have to pay a late fee because this load was scheduled for a six o'clock or a seven o'clock pickup, and we got here about nine thirty. So hundred dollars. They said as soon as they get the check, they'll put me in the door and load me. So I'm about I already sent in the macro for it. And now I'm just gonna get the check ready and go give it to them and get turned in. So yeah. Um they this load is scheduled for the seventh at eighteen hundred, but I'm not going to sit that long on it. At least I hope I don't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just have to find out. But let me get this done, take care of. See you guys in a second. Alright, so we're in the door. And they got packed real quick. But uh, they're pretty fast. Last time I was there they were real quick, but it all depends, circumstances. So there's a swift driver at like door six. I'm in door 17. And they got two other trucks in the door. But we'll see how long it's going to take them. So far, it's going on two hours since we've been here. I've been sitting in this door. We're going on two hours. Still got a green light. They haven't touched me yet. All I hear is them going in and out of that trailer and in and out of that trailer. And there's no no trucks hooked up to those trailers. So I don't know what the hell is going on. And they still got one, two, three, four, four trucks and no in the dirt lot waiting and that swift truck is just now leaving he finally got his bills and everything and he's about to leave so you got the swift driver and then you got four other trucks in the door swift four other trucks and then of course my green light and like I said so, yeah, let's see how this is going to play out. Well, we got a green light, or a green light. <laughs> we got a red light. They came out, disconnected the airline, and they started loading me. So, ow. we've been here two hours and 23 minutes. I have 8 hours and 48 minutes on my 14, 8 hours and 12 minutes on my 11. So, and I still got to stop, scale out, because I know this load is probably going to be anywhere from 36 to 40,000 40, pounds. So, yep. Um. Like I said, it's scheduled for the 7th. In all reality, if it's scheduled at 1800, which is 6 o'clock tomorrow afternoon or night, whatever you want to call it, I could be there tomorrow. I could be there tomorrow at 1800 instead of the 7th at 1800. Because today's the 5th, tomorrow's the 6th, and then you got the 7th. Today's Monday, too. So they want me to deliver a load on a Wednesday when I could deliver the load on a Tuesday. But we'll find out um, and go from there. Hopefully, I just gotta wait and see what my clock does. I hope it doesn't go past my eight hour mark. Hope I get rolling before then. So, see you guys shortly. All right, so, scaled out. I'm like 33 on my drives, 32, 480 on my tandems. I can slide the tandems back or up a hole or two.
to if I wanted to, but I'm not. So, about to take off shortly.
yeah we'll just see what goes on tomorrow or in the morning and go from there I'm not sure if they're gonna t-call my load or what because this load doesn't deliver until Wednesday so on that note I'm gonna go walk around and do my post trip and go from there so see you guys later Walk around, did my post trip, and I start hearing some. So I took a look. Look at that. That's nice. So guess what? That bitch is gonna stay there. Awesome. Get down to uh, to Phoenix tomorrow and they can fix that. I'm not going to right now. I've got con continuous air going to it. long as I leave the trailer brakes released there's constant air going in that tire so <sighs> yep this trailer <laughs> it's fun 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 uh, and I still gotta fix get the, um, the air valve thing fixed put the right bolt or whatever on it 